What's up everybody, Damon here, and in today's gaming news, another unfortunate mass layoff for Xbox, a new system update for PS5, and a new Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, something is in the works. This is your Daily Fix. Microsoft is laying off a further 650 staff from its gaming business. In an internal memo, Phil Spencer said the roles affect mostly corporate and support functions and were made, quote, to organize our business for long-term success. He clarified that no games, devices, or experiences are being canceled and no studios are being closed as part of these cuts. The latest layoffs mean Microsoft has let go of 2,550 staff from its gaming business since acquiring Activision Blizzard for $69 billion last year. In his memo, Spencer makes it clear that the cuts are related to the acquisition. Excerpts read, I know that this is difficult news to hear. We are deeply grateful for the contributions of our colleagues who are learning they are impacted. In the U.S., we're supporting them with exit packages that include severance, extended health care, and outplacement services to help with their transition. Outside the U.S., packages will differ according to location. With these changes, our corporate and supporting teams and resources are aligned for sustainable future growth. Throughout our team's history, we have had great moments and we have had challenging ones. Today is one of the challenging days. I know that going through more changes like this is hard, but even in the most trying times, this team has been able to come together and show one another care and kindness as we work to continue delivering for our players. These cuts follow the 1,900 layoffs Microsoft made to its gaming business earlier this year and continue the video game industry's torrid time of late. Microsoft closed Hi-Fi Rush developer Tango Gameworks and Redfall developer Arcane Austin as part of those cuts. PUBG publisher Crafton later picked up Tango Gameworks, saving around 50 of the 100 staff. While Spencer has recently insisted Microsoft's video game franchises are getting stronger and Xbox console players are as high this year as they've ever been, Xbox console sales have plummeted and the gaming business is now bringing a number of exclusives to rival platforms, including PlayStation 5. Speaking of PlayStation 5, Sony has released a significant update that adds a welcome hub, party share, and more new features. Unfortunately, the update does not add themes or folders, two of the most requested features from PS5 owners. For those keeping track, this is PS5 System Software Update 24.06-10.00.00. The welcome hub is a new personalized space with customizable widgets and backgrounds in your PS5 home screen. It's a reimagined version of the Explore tab, which was previously only available in the US. It will roll out globally over the next few weeks, starting today for select players in the US. Select players, including this guy. Party Share will roll out globally in the coming weeks. This will allow to invite a friend you're chatting with on any messaging app to join your party voice chat, even if you haven't added them to your friends list on PlayStation Network. More features released as part of today's update include personalized 3D audio profiles for headphones and earbuds. You can now adjust remote play settings per user and choose who is allowed to connect to your PS5 console using remote play. And adaptive charging for your controllers is available for the slimmer PS5 model and the Pro when it's available. This update comes hot on the heels of Sony's controversial announcement of the PS5 Pro, which launches November 7th, priced $700. The Pro, which does not come with a disk drive, has sparked a sales bump for the existing PS5 disk drive. For the full updates notes, hit up IGN.com. And finally today, Tony Hawk has said he's talking to Activision again and is working on something Pro Skater related with the company. In an interview with Mythical Kitchen, the famous skater tees plans to celebrate the 25th anniversary of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater later this year. Hawk said, I wish I could tell you more, but I can tell you that I've been talking to Activision again, which is insanely exciting. We're working on something that is the first time I've said that publicly. It will be something the fans will truly appreciate. Neither Activision nor parent company Microsoft has announced any new Pro Skater plans. The series has been dormant since 2020's well-received Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, a pair of remakes developed by Activision-owned Vicarious Visions before it was absorbed into Diablo developer Blizzard in 2022. Speaking in 2022, Hawk said a follow-up remake collection was planned for Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 and 4 before Vicarious merged with Blizzard, but the dream died when Activision failed to find a video game pitch from other developers it was happy with. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater was released on PS1 on September 29th, 1999, and went on to sell millions of copies and spawn many sequels. Here's hoping we do get that Tony Hawk 3 and 4 remake, and that 3 includes Darth Maul. And that's your Daily Fix for Thursday, September 12th. Now that you're caught up on the news, watch the latest trailer for Assassin's Creed Shadows. I'm Damon Hatfield, and for all your video game news, stay tuned to IGN.